G'day, Paul here on Emu Mountain. And I'm just reading from the Gideon's Bible, Mark chapter 4, after Jesus told the parable of the sower of the seed. Uh, in verse uh, 18, he's explaining it to the disciples. He said, Now, these are the ones sown among the thorns. <coughs> And they are the ones who hear the word. And the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, and the desires for other things entering into, entering in, choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. The cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word. Oh, how often... Are we distracted by the devil? He, this is major, one of his major weapons is to distract us into wanting things of earth. But then he goes on to say, there, these are the ones sown on good ground, those who hear the word, accept it, and bear fruit, some 30-fold, some 60, and some 100. So, you want to bear fruit for the Lord Jesus Christ, you need to have a heart that is like good soil, ready, willing and able, wanting to learn, open to listen and getting into the Word. It's, it's no good expecting the Word to come to you. You've got to open it up and read it and He'll speak to you. It, it, it's amazing. Verse 26, and He said, The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground and should sleep by night and rise by day and the seed should sprout and grow, he himself does not know how. For the earth yields crops for itself, first the blade and then the head, after that the full grain of the head. But then the grain ripens immediately, he puts in the sickle because the harvest has come. And he keeps talking in parables. Then he said, To what shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or, with what parable shall we picture it? It's like a mustard seed, which when it is sown on the ground, is smaller than all the seeds on earth. But when it is sown, it grows up and becomes greater than all herbs, shoots and large branches, so that the birds of the air may nest under its shade. Wow. That's what the kingdom of heaven is like. It's amazing. And of course, he promises us a place in eternity in the kingdom of heaven. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. Well, some are just going to get ordinary places up there, but they'll get in. But his, his friends and those who overcome are going to be given glorious places. Yes, the level of Christ-likeness or righteousness that we achieve here on earth is the level we will carry into eternity. Some people just get in by the skin of their teeth like the thief on the cross who believed in Jesus as he died. Just get in by the skin of their teeth and there are others who spend their lives in service to God and become his friend and become the bride of Christ. They're the ones who will achieve great things for God and will be blessed. We will be judged according to what we have done. So there's a little meditation from Emu Mountain. Don't let the cares of the world steal the word of God from your heart. Open your heart and receive all that he has to offer you. Yeah, blessings. Get into the word, let the word get into you and go and tell others what he's done for you. See you later.